It's amazing that Mark treats the temptations of the Lord in such a brief manner, taking two sentences to do what the other gospel writers treat in 11. With such scanty details on the temptations of Jesus, the scriptures are inviting us to reflect on our own temptations, our own time in the wilderness. At some point in our lives, we all end up in the wilderness, in the desert, where we face not Satan, but ourselves, our own weaknesses, our own brokenness. It's in the desert of our failure that we are forced to confront ourselves and acknowledge our weaknesses. Like Jesus, when we confront our temptations and failures, we can emerge from the encounter strengthened. This is because we also encounter God in our wilderness. We encounter the God who loves us, who heals us and forgives us. We encounter the God who reminds us that even in our deepest desolation, we are not alone, that he has been there walking beside us and sometimes even carrying us on his shoulders. Jesus, in his time in the wilderness, learned deep truths about himself, his God and his relationship with God. It was only in facing and overcoming his temptations that Jesus was able to be who he truly was and to accept his mission from the Father. What temptation are you facing now? And what is it teaching you about yourself?